Okay. Hi, I'm Dr. David Matson. I'm a radiation oncologist and the director of the breast program in radiation medicine here at Roswell Park Cancer Institute. When discussing radiation with a patient, I'm often asked, what side effects should I expect? There's three things to keep in mind. The first is that radiation is like sunlight. It's made up of photons just like sunlight, except they have higher energy so they can penetrate beyond the skin to reach cancer inside your body. Second, radiation is a form of local treatment that only affects what's within the area being treated. So if someone uh, is having whole breast irradiation and they feel nauseated, or they get a rash on their leg, or a dry mouth, it's not from the radiation. Third, is that no two people will have the same degree of side effects and there's no way to know how you'll do until you start. There are two main categories of radiation side effects. There's early side effects and late side effects. The early side effects are more common and they happen to virtually everyone. These occur during the course of treatment. Early side effects can include skin changes and fatigue, for instance, in breast cancer. Um, treatment to the belly area can result in nausea and diarrhea. Prostate treatment may result in discomfort with bowel movements and urination. And head and neck um, radiation may cause discomfort with swallowing. Late side effects occur months to years after finishing radiation, and they're much less common. They include lymphedema of the arm, weakening of the bone, as well as fibrosis of the lung, accelerated atherosclerosis of the heart, and rarely secondary malignancies. Generally, during the first couple of weeks of treatment, everyone does fine. That's because we give a small dose of radiation each day, which adds up over the course of treatment. So while you won't notice anything during the first few treatments, you're likely to notice a little a few weeks in, and you're sure to notice some side effects by the end of treatment. You'll also meet with your doctor once a week during treatment. This allows them to see how you're doing, to recognize any side effects that may be developing, and to recommend interventions. These could include skin creams, dietary modifications, or to prescribe new medications or modify existing medications if the situation calls for it. While planning a patient's radiation treatment, the radiation oncologist can calculate how much dose is going to a particular organ, and this gives us an idea of what the risks of side effects may be, and we can fine-tune the plan to get that risk down as low as possible. What we do here at Roswell um, to reduce the risk of heart and you know, lung injury is to use a breath hold technique, where the patient holds their breath while the radiation is given. In the case of lung tumors, Breath hold allows us to use smaller fields that are targeted to the tumor rather than larger fields um, which we use to account for tumor movement during the patient's breathing. When, when the left breast is our target, the heart is sometimes partly in the field because it leans a little to the left side of the body. When this happens, we're forced to make a compromise. Either cover the entire target and include a portion of the heart or block the heart out completely understanding that we'll, we're also blocking out part of the breast. Um, but by taking a deep breath in, what happens is the breast moves upward and away from the heart, and the heart is moved inferiorly and away from the chest wall and breast as a diaphragm goes down. My advice to anyone who is or will be receiving radiation treatment is to know what side effects to expect practice prevention, and address any side effects early if they develop. Staying ahead of the side effects and keeping them under control are always better than if you begin to address them after they become severe.